Good morning, everyone. Happy Easter. My name is Sua, a pastor of Centenary United Methodist Church. I want to welcome you to our online Easter service. Whether this is your first time to join us or you have been with us before, we are so glad that you are joining us for worship. Today, we begin our new worship series titled, 30 Days of Praise. I'm so glad that we can begin this new worship series on Easter Sunday and thankful for our virtual choir, children, youth, and worship leaders who will share the joy of Easter through their gifts. We will be holding online communion today. I invite you to prepare a piece of bread or crackers and grape juice or water. Please join me, our time of worship. rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that sees Christ rise. Let, Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day of new beginnings, for Christ has risen. Christ, Christ is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. God of hope and the mist of death, you call forth life when all hope seemed gone. You raised Jesus from the grave. We come before you today, longing for your life, giving presence. God of new life, raise us up with all your people. Lift us from the tombs of our despair and doubt, that we may rejoice in your power over death. God of joy, fill our hearts with hallelujah. Allahuyas, as we sing your prayers, glory to God, Amen. Happy Easter, everyone. Christ is risen. We celebrate this morning our opening hymn, He Rose. Would you please sing with me? They crucified my Savior and nailed him to a tree. They crucified my Savior and nailed him to a tree. They crucified my Savior and nailed him to the tree. And the Lord will bear my spirit. his body and laid it in the tomb. Then Joseph begged his body and laid it in the tomb. And the Lord will bear my spirit. 
We're very excited to be celebrating with you today on Easter Sunday. And we know we have a lot to celebrate. Jesus was victorious over death. He has risen. He's risen indeed. We are so excited to have you with us. And we're very excited also to have our youth lead us in songs of worship. So friends, I'd like to wish your family a very happy and blessed Easter. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter!
the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one though Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. The other disciple who reached the tomb first also went in and he saw and believed for as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, One at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you had carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have yet to yet not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. I love Easter Sunday, the day that Christians declare the glorious victory of Jesus who conquered death. The day that Christians celebrate the resurrection of Jesus and raise our joyful voices to glorify Him. I assume many of you also treasured beautiful memories about Easter Sunday one of the most glorious, delightful, and crowded Sundays for many Christians. I still remember last year Easter Sunday. It was a very different Easter though. No in-person worship and no family gathering. However, I can tell you that maybe I could not have a happy Easter last year, but I had a very blessed Easter because I have seen the Lord. Last year, early March, I was living in Hoboken. One day I went to the grocery market. I saw one, one person cover their, his mouth and ran away as soon as he saw me. A week later, I saw the news about multiple Asian hate crimes in New York City. I was afraid to walk around the town and went to the grocery market. To be honest with you, I rarely went out when I was in Hoboken because I was afraid. After the outbreak of COVID-19, I saw the community began to struggle. A pandemic led to panic buying and the shortage of face masks. I experienced so many shock, grieving over changes, unexpected losses, and life crises like many of you. I felt like walking in the long and dark tunnel that I cannot see the end. But around this time of last year, I experienced that the tangible God's grace. God sent me the angels from time to time. 
Although I did not tell anyone, whenever I started to worry about running out of food, I found that someone left food at my back door. Some people left some face masks and gloves at my back door. The unexpected love gave me hope to move on with my life. In the midst of darkness, I saw the Lord. Today, the scripture reading is one of the well-known Easter stories that we invited to hear again and again. Although I knew this story very well, but this year, what captured my attention the most was this. While it was still dark, maybe it was just a reference to the time of the day that John wanted to share with the readers. But somehow this reference invited me to reread this Easter story through fresh eyes. The very first Easter began with, it was still dark. Mary Magdalene saw the stone removed from the tomb. No Easter release, glorious music, nor the crowded people. Instead, there was grief, shock, and confusion. Before she met Jesus, Mary Magdalene had a bitter life. In Luke 8, we found Mary Magdalene who was suffered from seven demons. And here Jesus cleans her of demons and gave her new life. And ever since that moment, she began to live as a beloved child of God and faithful follower of Jesus. After Jesus was arrested, she witnessed Jesus' crucifixion along with several other women from the foot of the cross, while other Jesus' disciples ran away. Another gospel tells us that even after Jesus' death, she helped with the preparation of Jesus' body with other women. And on that Easter day, here in Gospel of John, on the early morning before sunrise, Mary Magdalene went to Jesus' tomb. She saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. She was shocked and ran to Peter and John and let them know Jesus' body was missing. Peter and John ran a race to the grave and saw the empty tomb. And later they left and went home. The, the one who saw the reason Christ was not the Peter nor John, it was Mary Magdalene who chose to be faithful while she was honest to her grief and struggle. She didn't leave Jesus or deny him. She remained faithful to him while waiting for the light. The Bible tells us that the grief, despair, and agony were not the end of Mary's story. On her darkest day, she heard the voice of Jesus calling her name Mary and sent out her to share the good news. In her darkness, God's grace leads her life in a different direction when Jesus called her to go and tell other people the good news. Jesus commands her to preach the very first Easter message to his disciples and share hope with them. She became a minister to the disciples. My husband, Yang Kwang, and I had been recording our hymn singing for the church services since March last year. To be honest, it was very challenging to sing hymns while we keep hearing the sad and ter terrible news. But God called us when, uh, when we were weak and God used us and our gifts to share hope with others during this pandemic. When we yes to God's calling, it has become apparent God was expanding our amusing ministry more than we thought. We received many phone calls and messages to ask for permission to use our hymn video for their virtual worship services. Some were even from the churches in other conferences and other denominations. They told us that our music was inspiring and gave them comfort, joy, and courage during this challenging time. Today, I still saw our communities struggling. Life has been changed, and what we once called normal seems like it may never return. Whenever we watch the news, it is easy to be discouraged and feel hopeless. Many of us are still grieving 
because the pandemic brutally took our loved ones. Yes, it feels like we are still in the darkness. However, maybe this is the time more than ever, we need to share the story of Easter. Our community is still struggling, yet they are waiting to hear the message, Jesus is still risen. God is working for us. Hope is still here. This Easter, may our Christ who rose in the darkness lead each one of us into a new direction and new hope. May we dare to come out from darkness when Jesus call our names and send, and He send us to others to share the hope of Easter. Amen. When everything was dark and it seemed that the sun would never shine again, your love broke through. Your love was too strong, too wide, too deep for death to hold. The sparks cast by your love dance and spread and burst forth with resurrection light. Gracious God, we praise you for the light of new life made possible through Jesus. We praise you for the light of new life that shone on the first witnesses of resurrection. We praise you for the light of new life that continues to shine in our hearts today. We pray that the Easter light of life, hope, and joy will live in us each day and that we will be bearers of that light into the lives of others. Amen. Friends, on behalf of Centenary, we thank you for your generosity. We have two ways to financially support and sustain our ministries. You can mail a check to Centenary UMC, 200 Hillside Avenue, Matachin 08840. You can also give online. Go to our church website and click Give Online. Let us bring you our offerings today with a grateful heart.
Living God, you give us the greatest gift of all, the gift of new life. Grateful for this gift, we bring our offerings, the work of our hands. Use our gift to share your word of hope, your promise of forgiveness, and your blessings with all creation. Grateful for your love, we offer ourselves that we might walk with our neighbors into your garden of love. Amen. Lift up your hearts and give thanks to the Lord our God, Creator of heaven and earth. You made us in your image to love and to be loved. When we turn away and our love failed, your love remains steadfast. By the suffering, death, and resurrection of your only Son, Jesus Christ, you delivered us from slavery to sin and death and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which Jesus gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples, and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. Pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty acts of Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by His blood. By your Spirit, Make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at His heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Creator God, now and forever. Amen. Would you please join me in the prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Friends, this is the body of Christ broken for you. And this is a cup of salvation poured out for you. This time I invite you to take a piece of cracker or bread to drink this juice or water. Let us share this holy meal together. Today, I know that He is living. What a 
I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer, and just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life narrow. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. In all the world around me, I see his loving care. And though my heart grows weary, I never I know that he is leading through all the stormy blast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to Rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Happy Easter, everyone! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! May God's blessing of new life be yours. May God's gift of peace fill your heart. May God's promise of forgiveness give you hope. May you go forth to tell the good news. We have seen the risen Lord. Hallelujah! <laughs>